Hi, my name is Peace George. I am also known as the Sweet Pea. I'm a member of the Maxwell Leadership Certified Team and also the founder of the Fierce Federation. Um, today I want to talk about self-harm and you know, I don't want, I don't like when people overthink it. I mean, there are other um, very dangerous sides to this, but I believe that it starts um, with you having that bad thought towards yourself. If you ever have an unhealthy thought towards yourself, then you know your body begins to tilt towards you harming yourself. For some people, it's them um, making a mistake, and then you know they kind of punish themselves for that mistake or whatever else you know goes on. So you know it has it begins with that spark in your thoughts that you're not enough that you know you're not worthy to be alive and all those things and then when you start to have those thoughts you start to tilt towards um these other grave ones like uh, burning yourself using a knife on yourself overdosing breaking your own bones punching yourself pinching yourself uh, banging your head on something, breaking your own bones. So these things come in different ways, but it always starts with a thought. Whatever we do in life always starts with a thought. If you're out there and you have unhealthy views about yourself, I need you to know today that the Lord loves you. God loves you. Yahweh loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son to you. To take your sins away. Those errors have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. So don't overthink it. The Lord loves you. Okay. So what should you do when you're having these unhealthy thoughts towards yourself? Pray, pray, tell someone about it. Okay. The devil does not like secrets. Okay. So once you write him out, you, you start um, a healing process that way. So tell somebody about these thoughts. Well, it could be a friend, a sibling, um, a pastor, uh, a teacher, whoever you know you can go to and talk to. Please make sure that you do that. Don't carry this burden alone. Okay. The hardest part is getting help and if you can reach out to someone if they can know what's going on with you half of the problem is solved another thing you can do is to identify the triggers what makes you think these thoughts what happens before these thoughts start to come to you think about it Everyone has their own trigger. Even the person who is angry, the person who is sad, whoever, there's always something that triggers something else from within us. So you want to find what your triggers are. Ask for help. Now, most Christians believe that it's not a, a Christian thing to see a therapist, but it is. Go talk to someone, talk to a counselor, talk to a therapist, talk to people who can help you if you live in the uk go and see your gp and tell them exactly how you're feeling some people can't talk to their um, the people in their church because they think they're going to be you know the shame is there and they're going to be laughing at them or whatever find somebody to talk to get help this is important it doesn't mean that you're less prayerful you're this you're that we have christian counselors find them they're online um you know they're everywhere so if you really need help please get a professional help and also get your pastor to pray for you there's nothing wrong with that but there is nothing um on christian if you get help so get help okay get help and know this and know peace that god loves you you mean the world to him and, you know, never think less of yourself. Because if you look at yourself, you know you're made in the image and likeness of God. Do not let people stop you. And don't stop yourself. I love you with the love of God.